Andy Gray. Who's got acceleration and is showing it here. And the power in his shot as well. Aston Villa have broken away to score. Challenge. And don't bother adjusting your sets, Borough fans. There's worse to come. First frustration for Dean Glover, whose firm header is acrobatically cleared off the line by Kevin Gage. There's Gage and caught by Spink. Brilliant work by Gage. Batman Gray again puts in the First Division's top scorer, Alan McAnally, with a clear run on goal. A neat one-two off the hapless Tony Mowbray. A shot through the legs of the embarrassed pairs, 2-0 Villa, and for Borough, it had all the makings of a real video nasty. To their credit, Riot's young side didn't panic and tried to play their way out of trouble. Glover finished one flowing move with a shot just wide of a post. And the midfield player was involved again when Borough at last began to get... Brennan. In from Parkinson. His chip caused a fatal hesitation in the Villa defence and Mark Brennan bundles the wall into the net past Nigel Spink. It's 2-1 and the game's still only 17 minutes old. Next it's Glover yet again tormenting his old club. His cross gives Gary Hamilton the chance to create another opening but the shot is just wide. Then Brennan goes looking for his second with an overhead kick from Stuart Ripley's cross. But the ball falls straight to the grateful Spink. Oh, we haven't had quite such an explosive opening. The second half was really top-rating stuff. Mind you, most armchair viewers would still have been making the tee when Gary Hamilton's looping header put Borough level just after the break. Half gone. Perhaps it is going to be a repeat. But straight away, the Teesiders needed a miracle escape to stay level. Pears turns McAnally's header onto a post, and as David Platt closes in for the kill... Platt shot, then it hit Daly, Platt... So against his own player, Tony Daly! What an amazing episode! Tony Daly. Villa's frustration was doubled when Martin Keown pulled back Peter Davenport and turned in horror to see the dreaded red card. It looked harsh, but the defender had already been booked and had to go. And Borough made the most of Keown's absence. Tony Mowbray rising unchallenged to head in the risk. That is 3-2. A minute after losing Martin Keown sent off, Villa's troubles multiply. Resulting <laughs> free kick. 3-2 Borough, and the boy Lazarus has nothing on this lot. The Essen Park crowd reveling in the return of First Division football here this season. What entertainment they've had in this match. It might have been four almost immediately, but substitute Bernie Slaven's delight was cut short by a linesman's flag. Though it must have been close. But neither side deserved to lose, and fittingly it was McAnally, a constant problem to Borough's defence, who tied it up at 3-3 with a typical surging run and shot. His 17th goal of the season. A brilliant afternoon's football. And just as well, our camera was there, Bruce. Yes, great stuff. What a pity Villa's manager, Graham.